Hey there, CJ Mass students. Welcome to Classwork Homeworks S.14 Loans and Simple Interest. Please use this if you are out absent or uh, if you did not understand and need a refresher. So a couple of vocab words right off the bat. A loan is money given in exchange for a future repayment. I'm not just going to give you money. you got to give it to me back and then some, right? And that rolls right into our next uh, vocab word, interest is money paid at a certain rate for the use of borrowed money. So just because I can give you the money at that time, you're not only going to give me back that money, uh, but you're going to give me back that money plus interest. That's the convenience of me having the money that you need at that moment. An interest rate is a percent of the loan charged as interest, and the principal is the amount of money borrowed. So make sure you get those uh, definitions down because that's how we're going to be talking uh, about these different aspects throughout the rest of class. So uh, basically we have this simple interest formula to calculate how much money uh, in terms of interest I'm going to have to pay back um, plus the principal. So um, interest is basically what the bank asks for plus principal. So not only are you going to give them back the money that you borrowed, you're also going to give them back interest. All right? How do we calculate that? You take the principal, the money you borrowed, times the rate uh, the bank will give you a percent rate. You write this as a decimal uh, times the time in years that you borrow the money. So let's practice one. We're going to pretend that we have a principal of $2,000. We're going to borrow $2,000 at an interest rate of 6%. Because it's 6%, immediately I should be thinking, oh, i got to change that to a decimal. So that is, excuse me, 0 0.06. And I'm going to borrow it for four years. Right? So I is equal to P R T put a little swoop on my T so it doesn't look clear, plus sign. And let's plug in the numbers we know. So my interest is going to be equal to my principal of two thousand dollars times a rate of 0 0.06 or six percent times four years. Put that in the calculator. I end up having to pay $480 in interest. So the total you pay is going to be your principal, what you borrowed initially, plus your interest. So I borrowed $2,000 initially plus $480. That means for borrowing $2,000 over four years, I'm going to have to pay the back of the bank $2,480. Right? So we can also, we're not going to just pay this all off at once at the end. We'll probably pay it off in um, months. So our, what is our monthly payment? We ask how many months are in the time period. So we had four years. We know that there are 12 months in a year. So basically, we just say 4 times 12, which means we have 48 months. So to figure out my monthly payment, I'm just going to take my total and divide it by my months. So 2,000, I'm sorry, 2,480 divided by 48. When I do that, I get 51.66666. So I'll just round to $51.67. That's how much I'll pay back the bank each month for 48 months. Let's do one more. So this time we're going to take out a much larger loan, $50,000, an interest rate of 5%. Again, immediately, as soon as I see that 5%, I should be thinking, oh, that's 0 0.05 for 10 years. So again, your equation is I is equal to principal times your rate times your amount of time. So the interest I pay is going to be equal to 50000 times my rate of 5% or 0 0.05 times the amount of time I borrowed it, which was 10 years. And put that in my calculator. I'm going to pay $25,000 in interest. That is crazy. That's a lot of money to pay back in addition to the principal that I borrowed. So again, the total you pay is the principal, the money you borrowed, plus the interest the money the bank is going to get just for having you borrow that money. So $50,000 plus $25,000 means you're going to have to end up paying back a total of $75,000 for borrowing that $50,000 at 5% over 10 years. 
So again, what's my monthly payment? So 10 years equates to, okay, 10 times 12, which is 120 months. As we look over here, I'm just going to take my total divided by the months. So 75,000 divided by 120 months gets me $625 a month. So some key takeaways about uh, loans and interest. Write these down, please. The less time, the better. The sooner you can pay off a, a loan, uh, the better, right? Uh, because if you wait for a loan to accumulate over time, you're going to have to pay up more and more interest. Uh, the lower the rate, the better. Right, the lower that uh, borrowing interest rate is, uh, the less you're going to have to pay back the bank in additional to your principal. And finally, the lower the principal, the better. Right? When in, uh, you have the opportunity not to borrow money, don't do it. Right? Because the bank is always going to make something off of that. But sometimes uh, you're going to have to borrow money, whether to start a business, buy a home, or, like your homework, go to college. So tonight, uh, for your homework, you'll just be uh, trying to attend these four universities on those four different loans um, and figure out how much it costs to do that So uh, per year. So it says uh, the bank is going to give you a loan of 35000 to attend the University of Illinois. So that's your principal with a rate of 2%. 2%, remember, it gets written as 0 0.02. And you got simple interest over eight years. So um, these questions are exactly like the ones on the front. Um, and so I'll let you use the front notes to figure out those answers. All right, that's it.